This is Run It Back with R.J. Broadhead. The Tiger Cats closed out the first two-thirds of the regular season with a 27-24 win against Ottawa, improving their record to 5-7. and seven. Welcome to Run It Back. I'm R.J. Broadhead. That victory completed the season sweep of the Red Blacks, although all three were one-score games. It was the Ticats' fourth straight win on the road. Four of their five wins have come on the road this season. There were seven different lead changes in the game. After a low-scoring opening half, which saw Hamilton ahead 6-3 entering the third quarter, the teams combined for six touchdowns in the second half, three each. A big key was when the Red Blacks would score, the Ticats would answer with a score of their own. The man leading that scoring was rookie quarterback Taylor Powell. He set more career highs with 326 yards passing. A second straight game with three touchdown passes. He's up to eight touchdown passes on the season. He picked up his second CFL win in his sixth start. He had a 20-yard run, his longest of the season. He did not turn the ball over, and he punted the football. Yes, he had a punt, too. Powell keeps his emotions in check and would sooner let his play on the field do the talking. Ticats Audio Network had a chance to ask Powell about his performance against Ottawa. It's just all about winning, and I was super excited that we got to do that, and I'm just, uh, I was proud of how the guys responded, and uh, I thought the staff put a great plan together. I don't really have, like, expectations because I feel like that can put a ceiling or create, I don't know, constraints on you, right? And I just try to legit improve every day seasons are long man if you just keep stacking one foot in front of the other learning and then failing it's i think it's important that especially in football that you're not scared to fail that you want to fail and that might sound stupid but like to me that's the best thing you can do is make mistakes and then just don't make the same mistake twice and just keep growing as a person most of all and then a player next and just see where that goes reps helps man just getting reps and building uh just a kind of an inventory of plays and uh, just being able to uh, just get better, you know, just the more you play, the better you get. And just uh, being able to rep some kinks out and get better with Scott and rep with the receivers is always an improvement. So I talked to Scott when he first got here and one of the things he said was we have too many turnovers. We had to limit turnovers. So I know that's been talked about two times in three games, no turnovers, and the results are there. So it's something uh, I, I know you guys are, are conscious of. You have to be proud when you put up a zero in that category. Yeah, definitely, man. That's the key to winning, man. So just trying to trying to get that and do more good than bad, for sure. And I might be a flashy storyline, but people are logging reps and we're doing more things better and we're doing simple things better and it's just showing so we're going to try to keep doing it and uh, just take it one game at a time but when was the last time you punted a, a football oh, in a game man. i think high school high school yeah as a quarterback yeah it was a similar situation what was going through your mind in in, in that situation i uh, just try to hit a good one and try to kick it as far as i can outside the numbers and it was a pretty good one. He kicked it 33 yards. It went out of bounds at the Ottawa 28. Maybe fortunate for the Red Blacks that it went out of bounds because they didn't have anyone back. And there were a couple of Tiger Cats who were on side that were attempting to get to that football before it went out of bounds. Tim White caught seven passes for a career-high 180 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Of Powell's eight touchdown passes, four have been to Tim White. That pair have developed some chemistry over the last few games. And he's a stud, and he's a super talented receiver. And uh, any, any, anytime, any, whoever's back there, quarterback, is going to have a great connection with him because he's a great receiver. It was the third straight game where Hamilton had 20 or more first downs. That's impressive because in their first nine games, they had 20 first downs just twice. The offense put up 417 net yards. That's the most this season. Also of note, they've gone 6-for-7 in the red zone in their last two games, so they're cashing in on those opportunities. James Butler only had 35 rushing yards and no catches for the first time this season. Not his biggest statistical game, but it was a win, so that's all that matters. The defense held Ottawa to three points in the opening half, the biggest sequence was when Ottawa got the ball. First and goal on the Hamilton one-yard line. 
The defense managed to stop the Red Blacks three times to keep them off the scoreboard and get the takeaway on downs. This is what Casey Sales thought of that outstanding goal line stand. Thanks, Stav. Uh, he came down on uh, on Bahar, had a good hit on him, and uh, you know, uh, glad he didn't um, get in there. And uh, yeah, great great play on him. And then um, yeah, from there we just kind of got to dig deep, and uh, you know, know that they had three chances to get it in. And um, yeah, I think the odds of that, I think um, you know, even three and outs after you know first or second down that you know kind of backed up just regular downs. Um, after that, I think the you know, odds are pretty low of that. So um, I think the chances of doing three and out you know, within the one-yard line is astronomically small. So, uh, no, it was good. Uh, um, we all kind of you know, made a new line of scrimmage from the D-line and uh, um, just all played our play and our, you know, played our gaps. And the you know, linebackers filled in and everyone kind of did their job in the play. So it worked out in our favor. The defense had four takeaways. The goal line stand. Stavros Katsantonis had his second pick in as many games and is tied with Richard Leonard for the team lead with three on the season. Katzentonis also recovered a fumble created by Trey Crawford. And to seal the victory, Simone Lawrence sacked Dustin Crum and forced a fumble. When the dust settled, there were two Ticats sharing the recovery, Ted Laurent and Casey Sales. So Casey, who did come up with that football? I ended up coming up with it, but I think on film it looks like Ted was kind of the first one on, but we were fighting for it, but you know, as soon as it happened, we it was I knew it was uh, uh, another guy in uh, black and gold, so uh, I wasn't too worried about it at the end of the day, and I knew that we'd secure the win. I think we had uh, um, the wheel blitz on it, and uh, uh, scoop scoop stopped on the back end, and then um, yeah, uh, Sim ended up getting the, the strip, and then Ted was right there. I turned around, I was right there, and then um, there weren't any red blacks in the vicinity, so. Yeah, like I said, it ended up working out our favor, and uh, it's a good way to uh, secure the win. Were you getting the feeling in that second half that you get a stop and you win the football game with those seven lead changes back and forth? Yeah, they ended up coming out coming out hot there in the second half, and uh, you know both the offenses in the first half were a little slow. So uh, you got to kind of expect that with the adjustments in the halftime and everything. So um, yeah, at the end of the day, I just kind of go out there, play the play the best I can. Ottawa did have success on the ground. They rushed for 195 yards, the most the Ticats have allowed this season. Sales says the team is studying how to prevent that in the future. Kind of one of those wins that, you know, it's an ugly one, but um, end up get it done and um, get back, break down the film, kind of see uh, kind of see what went down with uh, all three layers of the defense and up front, middle, and uh, exterior guys in the back end, and uh, just kind of got to go from there. So just a third of the season remains. Six games. In the first third, the Ticats went two and four. In the second third, they went three and three. So they have improved. We'll see what happens in the final third of the season. By the way, last year, they went 5-1 and one in their last six games. Next up is Winnipeg at Tim Hortons Field. Be at the game if you can. It should be a great atmosphere. If not, listen to the Ticats Audio Network on Saturday. Pre-game show at 3, play-by-play at 4. Listen.ticats.ca. This has been Run It Back with R.J. Broadhead. If you like what you're hearing, give us a review on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you find your audio content.